Today, we're going to explore a topic that raises a lot of questions and at the same time directly affects our daily lives. Modern smartphone batteries. We're going to talk about how they work, the ideal charging habits, what manufacturers usually recommend, and how to extend your battery's lifespan without falling for myths. Stick with us until the end to understand key points, like whether it's worth leaving your device charging overnight, if it's better to charge up to 100% or stop before that, and how to avoid habits that can harm your device's long-term health. I'll already tell you, we're going to talk about the main smartphone brands, so stay tuned when we get to yours. On top of that, we'll also go over 10 practical tips to keep your battery healthy. One of the biggest concerns for smartphone users is seeing the battery wear out over time, making the device need more and more frequent charging. Although that's inevitable, there are ways to slow down this capacity loss and also to understand when the battery is being exposed to conditions that can damage it. Many people are still unsure about myths passed down from generation to generation. Is it better to wait for a full discharge before recharging? Can I leave the phone plugged in all night without any problem? Charge up to 100% or stop at 80%? These questions are constantly on the minds of people who care about the longevity of their device. When you understand the basic chemical function of a battery, you realize it's not just about the percentage numbers in the corner of the screen, but about charge and discharge cycles that directly affect the component's lifespan. And of course, manufacturers like Apple, Samsung, Xiaomi, and other companies have already released several official recommendations to optimize this process. However, it's common for people to still follow old rules that apply to nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride batteries which don't really fit the current lithium ion technology. Throughout this video, we're going to explore these recommendations in detail, showing what really matters in everyday life and what is just myth or outdated information. What are lithium ion batteries and how do they work? Nowadays, virtually all smartphones use lithium ion batteries. This technology emerged as a major improvement over earlier nickel-based batteries because it offers higher energy density and much lower memory effects. In practice, this means lighter batteries with greater storage capacity that don't require full charge cycles to maintain good performance over time. Even though lithium ion batteries are more modern, they still have limitations. The main one is chemical degradation, which occurs each time the battery goes through a charge cycle. A charge cycle is generally when we use up 100% of the battery's capacity, whether in a single discharge from 100% to 0% or through several partial discharges that add up to that total. For example, if you use 50% of the battery today and recharge, and then use another 50% the next day and recharge again, that counts as one full cycle. Over time, this process reduces the battery's maximum storage capacity. In other words, after a certain number of cycles, the battery begins to lose part of its autonomy. The internal chemistry that enables the transfer of lithium ions between the cathode and the anode is also affected by factors like voltage, temperature, and charging current. These elements influence not just performance, but also safety. That's why protection circuits exist to prevent overcharging or deep discharging, keeping the battery's operation within safe limits. When we talk about leaving the phone plugged in overnight, for example, many of these devices include smart systems that stop or adjust the charging process to avoid damaging the battery. However, this doesn't mean that leaving your smartphone plugged in for long periods without necessity is completely harmless. We'll get into practical recommendations for handling that scenario a bit later. Is charging to 100% recommended or not? One of the topics that sparks the most curiosity is the recommendation about the ideal level to stop charging. There's a consensus among many experts that keeping the battery between 20% and 80% causes the least wear on the component over time. This means that from a purely technical point of view, it wouldn't be ideal to let it hit 100% or drain all the way to 0% too often. Every time the battery reaches higher or lower voltages, chemical stress occurs that can speed up degradation. In practice, however, many users prefer to charge their smartphones to 100% to guarantee the maximum daily autonomy. After all, it's not always possible to stay connected to an outlet for a few extra hours during the day. This habit isn't forbidden, and manufacturers themselves know people will do it. That's why many devices feature adaptive charging systems that delay the final charge to 100% for the times when the user is actually going to use the phone, minimizing the amount of time the battery stays at maximum voltage. One example is optimized battery charging on iOS devices, 
which uses machine learning to predict when you usually unplug the device and holds the charge at around 80% during the night, completing it to 100% shortly before you wake up. In that sense, if your device has this charge optimization feature, it's worth keeping it enabled. If it doesn't, charging to 100% is not a mistake either. But in terms of battery longevity, it can be beneficial to stop charging around 80% or 90% whenever possible. The choice depends on your lifestyle, your phone usage routine, and how much you're willing to manually manage the charging to preserve the component. Should I wait for a full discharge before charging? This myth comes from the era of nickel cadmium batteries, which had a much more noticeable memory effect. Back then, if the battery wasn't fully discharged at regular intervals, it would forget part of its capacity, recalibrating as if the remaining 70% or 50% was the new 0%. With lithium ion batteries, this issue doesn't exist in the same way. Although they can still benefit from a full discharge and recharge cycle occasionally to recalibrate the internal meter, it's not something that needs to be done as frequently as before. So it's not recommended to fully drain the battery every day. The chemical stress caused by frequently reaching 0% can accelerate capacity loss. If it happens occasionally, there won't be major immediate damage, but making it a habit tends to harm the battery in the long run. The main tip is this, if possible, Avoid letting the battery drop below 10% or 5% frequently. Keep it within mid-range levels, since that helps reduce wear in each cycle. Can I leave my device charging all night long? Another common question is whether it's harmful to leave the phone plugged in for hours while you sleep. The answer can vary depending on the brand and model, but in general, current smartphones have protection mechanisms that prevent overcharging. When the battery reaches 100%, the system itself stops the flow of current or reduces it to a very low level, just enough to compensate for natural loss. In addition, many phones come with the already mentioned optimized charging system, which aims to reduce the total time the battery stays at 100%. Despite these features, there's still an important point to consider. Temperature. Leaving the phone charging in very hot places or under pillows and blankets can cause it to heat up more than it should. High temperatures speed up the chemical reactions inside the battery increasing wear. So the ideal is to charge the phone in a well-ventilated place without anything covering it. If you sleep with your phone next to the bed, try at least to leave it on a firm, airy surface like a nightstand. That way, even if it stays plugged in all night, the temperature is likely to remain within safe limits. In practice then, there's no major issue with leaving your device charging while you sleep, as long as the environment is safe and there's no overheating. If you want to be extra cautious, you can unplug it when it reaches 100%, but that's usually not feasible for someone who will be away from their phone for several hours. So keeping overnight charging on and relying on the device's smart features is perfectly acceptable. What do manufacturers say about these habits? Apple acknowledges that lithium ion batteries degrade over time and offers optimized battery charging features on iOS. They also recommend keeping the system updated since updates include improvements in power management. On the official website, Apple advises against exposing the iPhone to extreme heat and notes that full discharge cycles aren't something you need to do regularly. Samsung also provides battery protection features on its devices. Depending on the model, there's a setting that limits the maximum charge to 85% to extend the battery's lifespan. They acknowledge that temperature is a crucial factor for the component's health and suggest in their manuals that users avoid leaving the device in very hot places for extended periods. Xiaomi, in several models, provides battery care guidelines, including avoiding full discharges and offering calibration tips. Like other companies, they emphasize the importance of not exposing the phone to extreme temperatures and of using original or certified chargers to ensure safety during the charging process. Other manufacturers generally follow the same basic guidelines. Avoid overheating the device. Don't worry too much about hitting 100% or 0% occasionally, but avoid those extremes on a regular basis. And whenever possible, use high quality charging accessories to reduce the risk of damage during the process. How does this impact your daily use? You might be wondering if all these recommendations make using your phone feel too restricted. The truth is you can use your smartphone normally and charge it when it's convenient without obsessing over every single detail. The battery will degrade to some extent no matter how careful you are because every chemical process has a shelf life. However, by following some of these tips, especially avoiding extreme heat 
and not draining it to 0% too often, you'll probably extend the lifespan of your device by a good margin. In terms of charge retention, these habits also help keep performance stable. Over time, battery capacity will decrease, but you can slow that process down. That way, you won't have to replace your phone or battery so soon. Plus, when the time comes to replace it, it's important to consider proper disposal and recycling. Batteries contain metals and chemicals that can harm the environment if not discarded correctly. To wrap up, charging to 100% isn't forbidden, but if you can limit charging to 80% or 90% now and then, your battery will thank you. Charging your phone overnight is not a problem as long as there's protection against overheating and you're in a safe environment. Manufacturers usually provide clear guidance on these points. There's no longer a need to fully drain the phone before recharging. And of course, the golden rule is to avoid extreme temperatures and chargers of questionable origin. That said, it's not worth stressing out over battery percentages and charge cycles. These tips are meant to give you the freedom to choose the best way to care for your device based on your lifestyle and daily needs. The most important thing is to strike a balance between convenience and keeping your phone healthy. That way you ensure not just a longer lasting phone, but also more safety and peace of mind in your everyday use. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button.